Hey guys, and welcome back to Planning with Jamie. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Uh, yeah, you might be a little bit confused here, but I will explain myself why there is Christmas stuff on this video. All right, so today we are planning October 23rd through the 29th. And yes, guys, this is a Christmas kit. I just put this live in my Etsy stickers shop. It's always linked down below. But we are doing this because, guys, Christmas on this given week, Christmas is only two months away. Two months. It's going to be here before you know it. Usually I've done a lot of my shopping and planning by now, but our life has just been so crazy and so hectic lately that I literally have done none, absolutely zero. So I figure what a better way to get in the mood to do some Christmas planning than to put Christmas in my planner. I do want to show you guys though, I do have a Halloween kit up in my sticker shop. These ones are for the seven by nine daily duo. I do have the A5 um, daily duo also up in both of these prints. Um, this we're gonna be using next week for Halloween. So stick around for that one. But if you wanna get it ordered, I can get it shipped to you like ASAP. I have them printed out and ready to go. So don't be afraid about like getting these in time to use them for Halloween time. So again, this one is the daily duo kit 12 for the Halloween and then for the Christmas, it's Daily Duo Kit 10. Yes, I know they're backwards. I had designed the Halloween one and for some reason I didn't save it. And so then when I finally realized it, it got all out of order for numbers, but that's completely fine. All right, let's start labeling these. Okay, so I said Monday is the 23rd and my planner is getting a little chunky here in the corner. So we're just gonna put this like right in the middle and that way we can add the chunkiness there. So let's throw down all of the days of the week real quick and then we'll go back in with the actual numbers. Yes, this feels so funny to put Christmas in right before Halloween, but like I said, I need to get focused. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like. I know there's Halloween and there's Thanksgiving and all this kind of great stuff before Christmas, but you also know if you have four kids, like how fast all this time goes by. Um, my son's getting ready to have surgery. Yes, you guys have heard about it, but it got canceled because he got a fever like literally right before surgery. 27 hours before surgery. So it got canceled. They did call and reschedule they had like a cancellation. So they handed that one to us. And in fact, it is going to be on Friday the 27th. So on this week. Um, so that being said too, that kind of ties me down. I can't go out and about and go shopping and all this kind of stuff when I have a kiddo that needs to rest up and heal up. And so, um, yeah, it, it's, I need to mentally and list wise prepare for Christmas this week. Okay, so I had paused the video because I realized there was some stickers that I hadn't cut out yet that I wanted to use on um, this week's spread. And so I went to cut them and they cut completely wrong. And I thought, okay, no big deal. So I redid the file and sent it again to cut, like to print and cut and everything. And oh my gosh, guys, did it wrong again. So I finally said, that's fine. We don't need those stickers, do we? <laughs> Oh, complete craziness here, complete craziness. Okay, so if you've seen my kits before, I have the daily headers with the day of the week and the month of the year. We have a whole bunch of bullet points, some washi tape strips. I have these cut into two because they fit perfectly here or here for you. And then we have seven coordinating boxes. And so you can mix and match these with these ones over here, however you so wish. We have some labels, we have some lines if you want to use them, and then we have the time labels. So these are 30 minutes, one hour, and then two hour boxes. And so um, very, very easy to put your kit together, like to put your whole entire week together. And I'm just looking to see how I want to coordinate these. 
And honestly, I think I'm just gonna go down the line because like this goes very well with the Santas and then the blue brings out the blue in the trees. This brings out those beautiful colors. And then the last one says Merry Christmas. Yes, I know it's not Christmas, but hey, that's where we are planning. I have had a very, very productive day. Oh my gosh, like so crazy busy, but feels so good all at the same time. I have been needing like that productive of a day. I've just kind of felt like mumble jumbled around. I like to put a strip up here and then I come over and I grab my to-do script right here. Where'd I put my, right here. Um, I always lose these every single video, you guys. I am preaching to the choir when I say like your desk gets completely messed up when you are busy planning. And you guys, we might as well just go along the line. I have my messy calendar here that I throw everything on for the whole entire, um, I have this actually printed out for the whole entire year and it's been so extremely helpful. All right, so the 23rd down here, we have a concert for my daughter. I'm really, really excited to go watch her. Um, they've been working on this. Let's see, it's at six o'clock. Let's just title it um, CAA Fall Fest. How funny too that this is a Christmas one. <laughs> Um, it's at six o'clock and I'm just going to put arrive by 545 because that's her call time for it. And so that'll work out really, really well. And we're just going to put it, it's probably around the 530 mark. All of these, um, time labels fit perfectly next to the number. I like it that way. And that way, um, I don't know, it just makes it stick out. Then I have these Planner Kate freebies and I know in here I have some time right here. And so I'm gonna put 545 so it really like pops for me. Or do we have a 545? We don't, we have a 530 and we have a six. Let, let's just put the six. There we go. And that makes it like stand out even more to me. I think that's the only thing that I already have scheduled for that day. We have our to-do up here. Usually I'll put the weather, but it's a little far out for the weather for this because we have a whole bunch of rain coming through right now. And um, that just changes the trajection of anything. Okay, let's put down. I'm thinking on upcoming kits, I might be putting some clip art into some of these. Tell me if you like them open or if you like, like I was thinking every other one of being a clip art and then the opposite ones being open for you to write in. Okay, so we have that. And let's just keep with the theme. We had red on the opposite page. Let's do red here. Find our to do. So what I was trying to print out are these, I have this and then I have it saying daily cleaning task or yeah, daily cleaning. And they have like cut completely wrong. Like I just need to completely redo that file. And honestly, I'm just not gonna waste my time on it right now. Okay, so then on this day, she has another concert, which is kind of funny, but um, it's like one is for a club that's within the school and then one's for the actual school. So this one um, we have, this is a choir concert. And this one is at 5.30, they have not told us what time to be there for this one yet. And so I'm gonna leave that little section open. I meant to write it up here on the red one, but oh well, it, it all works out in the end, right? 
We're gonna put it right at 5.30. There we go. And then let's see, we have a 5.30 here. I like how those like pop out extra. Okay, so then um, it's supposed to be school conferences this night, but we are not going to be doing that because the pure fact of like we're already busy with other stuff. Okay, so then we have dance on this night, one, two, three. I like to put the dance schedule right here because I know exactly where to look. Like it's been working very, very well. Um, and I just write down for each girl their little initial. And then obviously um, some of them will be missing dance this night because of the choir concert. So that'll be okay. You know, you've got to have a balance going on. We have a very busy week here actually. And some of me really likes busyness. And then the other part of me is like, man, we, we just need a weekend off. And unfortunately... I'm having to work, and so I don't really see that coming. <laughs> okay, let's grab our blue. I love this blue with the Christmas colors. Like, it's a nice little balance. All right, get our corner box in here. We also have dance on Wednesday. One, two, three, only, well, only two of my girls have dance, so we are going to only use two boxes. So this kid and this kid. And then do we have anything else scheduled? Yes, we do. We have an orthodontic appointment here. Let's see. Let's use this color. And it's at 110, a very specific weird time, right? <laughs> Orthodontic appointment. And we're just gonna put it on the one o'clock. We'll show up early, we always do. Unless school doesn't get the kids out to me in time, that's gonna be the only hold up. And then I think, Let's do, yeah, let's do this green. So I've been noticing if I don't like pre-plan my week, I'm not getting it planned. So like last week, here's my last week and I'm just using like some colors and some washi tape, which guys, this is working great for me, absolutely great. But um, I really like when it's like laid out the same every single time. So I want this more than I want that other one. Okay, let's go on to Thursday. We have early outs on that day too, but we'll put those in here in a little bit. Okay, so Thursday the 26th. And guys, here is the exactly two months from Christmas. So get on it if you guys haven't like started your planning and all that. And I know Christmas is not all about gifts. Um, I'm meaning planning of like get togethers, the schedule. I have to work quite a bit around this time frame. Um, and so it's the making sure that you put time out for each different family. We have um, family coming in from out of state to stay with us. And so it's like prepping stuff like that. Um, part of the presents also is getting all the grandparents their list from each kid and then um, following up like somewhat some clarifications for stuff because, you know, it's really hard when you're not used to toys. <laughs> it's really hard to end up like picking out exactly who and what like ex the exact Barbie or the exact makeup kit and stuff like that. Okay, this night, okay, we have two different things actually going on here. We have a photo retake day. So let's put, I'm gonna use this down there. So let's use this blue one up here. 
my littles got their photos taken at school, but for some reason I haven't gotten them. So um, we are going to do the photo retake day. Last year we got them regardless, but I don't know if they just changed. I mean, I'm gonna buy them. It's just life was happening and we just, I don't know, we didn't get it done. Let's do it right here. So retake day, and then down here, we're gonna go to the Taylor Swift era concert at our movie theater. So we're having like a viewing party with dance. So I also have this from Planner and Kate. These are their little freebies, and um, it just like reminds me to use this basically. All right, so movie night, and let's put Taylor Swift viewing party with dance. So it's um, one of my kids' dance teams. Kind of put this all together. It's at 7.45 and yes, they have school the next day. We actually have surgery. I'm supposed to work. It's <laughs> not the best day for all this to happen. Um, but I think it's going to be such a cool memory for me and the girls. So it's all three of my girls and me going, and then they're going to have a boys night, like dad and my son's going to have a boys night. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, we have an early out that day too, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Okay. We're on to Friday already. See, if I just sit down and get this done, it can, it can go pretty gosh darn fast, but I feel like I just push it off and do like all the housework and then I'm like, oh, I'll do that later. And then next thing you know, it's time to go get the kids already. So I need to just start pre-planning ahead of time. Like today I had planned on filming this week and next week's, but I'm thinking I might run out of time, <laughs> which is really bad, but it is what it is, right? We just make everything work. Um, Let's do, what, where's my, okay, so this blue is going to be kind of random anyways. Maybe I should have used it on the last one, but that's okay. Completely okay. All right, there's that. And then we need our to-do. There we go. And then um, some kids have no school on this day see how do I want to put that All right so we have surgery and then we also have no school so I think for surgery we're probably going to need to be up there around 7 30 so let's let's actually move it up here We'll put it all the way up on the six o'clock hour actually because then um, no school is for let's do the red one am i gonna run out of these bigger ones this week um no school is for my littles let's go all the way down here yeah so i just need somebody to drop off my oldest child and those are the other stickers i need to print out is drop off and pick up but like I said, it's just wanting to be a little bit crazy on us here. Oh, guys, there's this girl's time. Well, let's leave it off for now. Um, let's put a big arrow and put Beckett surgery. I am supposed to work this day, so we will put work down. Um, wow, this is getting really busy. I need to it either needs to be a vacation day or I need to get moved out of the day because obviously I'm not missing my kid's surgery. So drop off will be, she's gotta be there by eight. And I would work at seven. 
let's do, let's just put work down there for now. It's very random, but we're gonna do this. Okay. And then we have Saturday here. I'm really excited about Christmas this year. Like I, we go really, really big on decorating. Um, we just like have traditions with the kids and we have, I think six Christmas trees. And then we also have an office that we own that we have to decorate. And so we get to go over there and decorate everything. And we just have a lot of fun. Um, the, like this time of year, we try to make it as fun and like tradition filled as we can, you know, making cookies and decorating Advent stuff. And that way the kids like just always have those memories. And I hope that they do them, you know, with all their kids too. And then I just love getting together with all the family. Like love, love, love it. All right. The 28th guys, you'll never believe this. We have nothing going on this day so far, you know, something will end up coming up but um as of right now <laughs> there is nothing and i'm hoping to keep it that way for my son obviously the day after surgery he isn't going to be feeling like doing a lot and then also um halloween is right after this and so we can get like all those last minute things ready for halloween all right sunday the 29th Merry Christmas, it says. That's so crazy. Um, I do work on this day, which is completely fine. My husband is going to take care of our son, and he is very, very capable of doing that. Let's put, I work um, seven to seven that day. Okay, so this is my Chrissy Ann design stencil and I love it because it's thicker than a lot of other places do and I would so buy one again so when I looked at all of her different stencils I just kind of thought like how exactly do I use my stencil in my planner and I picked whichever one um felt the best for that and this was the winner and guys I have been so happy with the purchase they're pretty cheap she was fast shipping it's held up um, the only thing I need to do is I lose this, like I, I lose both of these so easily because them being pretty clear. <laughs> so I'm thinking of putting like some washi tape on the edge or something like that to help me um, quit losing it <laughs> all the time because it's a real problem. All right, I like to outline where my work day is. And that way I know that whole entire time is just taken up. And then up here at the seven, so I work seven to seven, which is usually closer to seven to eight um, before I get out of there. And then I get home around nine. So yes, it's a long day. <laughs> it being um so thick up here is making it hard there we go I have to like really really push it down there we go so anyways it's a very long day but it's really rewarding it's nice that I have more days off than I work so it's a good trade-off okay let's go back through and fill in some more specifics here Okay, so Monday, like what I've been doing, and I really like this, and I've considered actually doing it down here. I've been doing my, this is my daily cleaning list, like what I want to get done every single day. I've been doing it up here, but I think let's write it down here. Um, let's do, I'm going to just use, I have red and green paper mate flares. And so let's put daily cleaning and this is like the more in-depth tasks outside of um like dishes and I mean laundry is 
is one of them, but all right, living room, office, and floors is the three that we do on a Monday. So living room, office, floors. Okay, and then anything else on Monday? It is a payday for me. We are going to grab our Planner Kate payday because they're really cute and just put it up there. Okay, so that is Monday. Then let's come over here to Tuesday. You can see on Tuesday I have a lot more. I have one, two, three, four, five. Grocery pickup is kind of a iffy type one. So what I write, daily cleaning. And you guys can see it is not perfect writing in here, right? Like I am more worried about functionality than anything. What I say, one, two, three, four, five as a start. And the one that I am noticing is moving around quite often is the laundry day. Um, and honestly, let's see, I have a laundry on Friday, but that definitely will not be working. So laundry day, I'm going to have to do on Monday or Tuesday. Let's assign it on Tuesday. No, let's assign it on Monday. I think that's going to work really well for this week. And so just go with the flow, you guys. Like, literally, if you see something on your schedule that's not going to work, even though that's your routine, switch it up. Okay, so we deep clean our kitchen. This is when I do, like, the appliances. Um, I clean out my fridge every single Tuesday. That way there is nothing bad in there. I know exactly what is in there. Um, it is the day before garbage pickup and so like nothing sitting outside in my trash can um it's toilet tuesday so we clean we have four bathrooms we get all those cleaned and then i don't have to worry about it the rest of the week i just do like those quick wipe downs but this is that deep cleaning all right clean out fridge bathrooms kitchen um collect trash and then this week is also recycling week. So collect recycling. And that way it's all done for the next morning. I mean, they come at like 6.30. It's really, really early. And then we are also going to put trash day up here. And then these are not in my shop. I show them all the time. I just need to get my life together and get them on there. But there's a little trash can. And then here is a recycling. And that way, like, if I look at this really quick, I know that's what's going on. Tuesday um, dance. Let's go ahead and write in those times. So we are 4.30 to 6.30. 4.30 to 6.30. And then uh, 5.30 to 8.15 is our dance times for those. Monday, we don't have dance, so we're good for that. Um, we have the concert, the fall fest, so those are good. I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't think so. Okay, Wednesday the 25th. <laughs> Two months until Christmas. That is crazy, guys. Absolutely crazy. I think let's go ahead and use this green on this one. Let's get our list back over here. Shoe closet, dining room, stairs, and floors. So we have four things here. And one of these days, whoops, let's write in daily cleaning. One of these days will need to be an errand day too and prep for my son. Luckily, because his thing got his surgery got canceled. Um, I've already bought like most of the stuff, which is nice, but there are a few things that ended up getting eaten that I need to restock. But also any like last minute running that I need to do, I need to get done. And that way I can just like stay home with him, like let him rest up and give him the care and attention that he needs. All right. So 
On Wednesday, we have shoe closet. This is just like a quick tidy, sweep it out or vacuum it out. It has been like life changing just doing this once a week. Um, do the dining room, like any dusting, all that kind of stuff. Make sure all the flat surfaces are all clear. Vacuum the stairs. This is both the basement stairs and the upstairs. So there is a lot of stairs in our house. And then um, floors means sweep, vacuum, and mop the floors. And that's every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we like stay busy with that one. Let's do up here. I went to put two months until Christmas. Okay, that is crazy. That is that close to it. All right, then we have four to seven thirty for dance. And um, part of that is she has an hour break. And so I need to um, pack the supper. And let's go back here and put um, pack dance bags. And snacks. Because, you know, kids need snacks 24-7, right? <laughs> um, pack supper and um, let's put snacks there and then we'll put a separate line for pack dance bags so this is like I pack all their clothes their snacks their drinks like everything that they need for dance their shoes um, I just want them in the morning not to be extra stressed about any of it and then we are 6 30 to 8 30 this one okay we have the orthodontic appointment oh you know what we didn't put is like drop off and pick up times see i'm all over the place already but that's okay that's life right okay so drop off time we leave around 7 30 for drop off and then pick up time on monday Starts at 3. So some of my kids get out at 3.30 and then the other kid gets out at 4 all the way in a different town. Um, so we kind of just like rush back and forth. <laughs> it, it works out though, guys. Um, and let's, because I don't have the stickers, let's go ahead and write in there, drop off, pick up. There we go. And then let's go on to Tuesday. And I know using this stencil for like the highlighter is extra, but guys, it really keeps it straight. Like, I like it. Look at that. Like how clean and crisp that looks. Like go check out this because I really like it. Okay, October 24th. We are not early out this day, so we will do at 3.30 or at 3 again. Okay. And then we will put drop off and pick up. There we go. We have our daily cleaning, all that good stuff in here. And then Wednesday, the 25th, again, drop off. So it's just pretty recently, like July, that I switched over to the Daily Duo. And I have to say, let's see, this is at early out, um, two hour early out. So everybody gets out at two o'clock. I will be pulling two of my kids early, though, for the orthodontic appointment. So let's put... Um, I'm going to have to pull them probably around noon where I have my lunch written in um, because by the time I pull one child and then go and drive to pull the other child, um, like there's a risk we'll be late because it's just a lot of pulling. But we keep their orthodontics appointments together because it just works. Works for everybody. All right, drop off. This is pick up for two of my other girls, and then um, we will put B&A pick up. 
and that is for that appointment. So I guess I just won't be eating lunch that day or I'll kind of have like a brunch type item going on. And so early out and really it doesn't matter for my other one having early out that works out. He has a broken bracket and he's missing one of the, um, one of the, <laughs> why can't I think, I've got to move this up, that's why, um, missing one of the bands around <laughs> a different area. So uh, he needs some attention in his mouth, guys. <laughs> Poor kiddo. Which they have gone an extra couple of weeks with these braces. We had to move our appointment because his original surgery date was like two days after. And nobody wants to have surgery and then go and get their braces done two days later. And so we didn't. Okay, so I have some kiddos with early out. Let's see, 3.30... So it will be at 1.30 that they're getting out. So I need to leave around 1. And then um, my other kiddo does not have early out. So it will be down here at 3.30 that I need to go. Whoops, that didn't work right. There we go. Go get her. So let's put to our early out here. Yeah, this is our drop off. And this is, um, let's put a pick up so that I know that it's her. Because this schedule is just never ending, changing craziness. Okay, we forgot to put our dance in here. All three girls have dance. Um, we're going to leave dance like one of the kids has to leave dance early the other two kids get to complete dance um but i think making these memories are so important too so i'm okay with the with the leave in early all right key kba and we have 4 30 to 7 15 for this one this one is 4 30 to 6 30 and this one is 5:30 to 8 15 so she won't be missing much of it but she will be missing some all right, we need to pack dance bags and snacks. Okay, for daily cleaning, we used a green. So let's write. This feels good to get the schedule like down. Um, so on Thursday is my catch up day. And Friday is bedrooms, laundries, and floors. Um, laundry I'm doing earlier in the week, so I'm not that worried about it. But bedrooms, I'm definitely going to have to move up a day. Um, I also want to remember to put a humidifier in my son's bedroom to help with like throat dryness. It's um, tonsils and adenoids that he's getting done, so put a humidifier in... Beckett's room. That way I will not forget that. Okay. I'm sure there is going to be a lot of cleaning things, but for now we're just going to write bedrooms. And that is like all four of my kids' bedrooms. I go, I tidy it up. I take trash if there was any left, all this kind of stuff. Um, I try to wash their bedding and get that part done too. Um, okay. Friday we are at. So the no school, right, is for my littles. So HH, no school. Um, but we do need a drop off for our oldest daughter. So I need to figure out who I think my mom is going to do it. I just need to um, 
figure out all the logistics. If his surgery report time is late enough, we'll drop her off and then head for surgery. And then I also think that right now they're allowing up to four visitors and I don't think there's an age restriction. So I'm pretty sure my other two kids can come up with us and we'll all be fine. Um, work, I'm not gonna permanently put anything because I need to um, figure out if, I need to talk to my managers basically and see if they want me to use vacation time, which I'm fine with, or if they need to move me into a different day. But you can see this is a very busy week, so I don't know exactly when I could get moved. I really couldn't. <laughs> I really couldn't, you guys. Okay, so our oldest pickup, we'll have to leave around 3.30 for a four o'clock pickup time. So there is that, and that way, um, we don't forget that. Honestly, I mean, we might be back for pickup, but I kind of assume that we won't either. So we'll, we'll see how that ends up working. Okay, Saturday, we had nothing to do and I am leaving it exactly like that. We're just going to chill and have a family day. Um, on Saturday, my cleaning task is bedding and catch-up day, and then Sunday is the same thing. So we're going to leave it open and see how this week ends up going. So this is going to be an outpatient surgery unless um, heart-wise he has an issue or bleeding-wise he has an issue. But otherwise, you know, it it is what it is, and we're keeping it there. We don't have a football game or anything like that either. Okay, so for work, I need to remember, A, I work seven to seven. I need my work badge. And I need um, my parking placard. Just scan in and out of the ramp. Um, and then uh, pack my lunch. We'll just make. And then usually I need to put gas in whatever vehicle I'm taking. And we're just going to put gas because um, I don't know. I pick and choose what vehicle. We have three cars and I just pick which ones I actually want to do on what day. All right, guys, let's flip through this real quick. So I might have like different little icons that I'll end up putting, like there might be a little music note or something like this, but this gets my like brain organized for the week. I am loving the colors. I think it's nice and simple for Christmas. It's kind of exactly what I was looking for. And honestly, I think after my son has surgery, like I'll just be figuring out what is going on for Christmas? Like try to figure out the logistics of Christmas after that, because I've just had like zero seconds to be able to do that. So, okay, go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed because I have some great, great content coming your way and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.